Hello fans of the modular shed. So the weather's good and uh, the modular shed is again in full swing. The well the extension, the three module extension. Let's go and take a look. So I've got the sunshade and the mitre saw is out and well everything's here really. So let's take a look at what we're doing. Module 4. This is module 4. It's in the shade because I want it in the shade because I'm working on it. There's the shed, I've had to strip both panels off this end. And I'm now working on a new floor. And you can see I've put two of these quite chunky five by twos. Of course they're not five by twos, they're mm, 45 by 120 millimeters. Let's have a closer look at how they're mounted. So these brackets are wicks long arm 50 mil brackets it will take a 50 mil timber down in there but uh, as i say this is a 45 mil timber and of course there's one on the opposite side screwed in with lots of screws to take the weight and this should be plumb and level yeah that looks pretty good now you might think that five by two is a little bit excessive for this what I really wanted is that it sat above this um, sort of holder so that I can put timbers across. I didn't really want to have to cut down these brackets. So I went with five inch height. Now the cross members, and there are going to be three running across here between this five by two and that five by two. They're actually four by twos. They need to be flush at the top. And I'll show you how I do that. The reason they're 4x2s is because the mini hanger, um, I didn't want to go right down to the bottom. And you don't need 5x2s for these cross timbers, there are going to be three of them. So 4x2s flush at the top, and I put plates across at the top to ensure that they're absolutely flush. Oh, go on then, I'll do a time lapse of this. I've got my tripod out. So I'll put this into time lapse mode, stick it on top of the tri tripod and I'll do the section where I'm cutting the 4x2s. So there's the first of the cross beams and as I say it's a 4x2. Let's come and have a look at that. I'll sit, Wait. sit on this beam. So yeah, it's shorter at the bottom and that allows me to put the mini joist hanger between the big beam and the smaller beam and you can see I've used these plates on the top to ensure the top is completely flush with the top of the 5x2 main beam. Now the nominal distance between the two 5x2s is, well it's the distance between the posts which is 1100 plus uh, the fact that these aren't four inch, they're two inch in effect. So that makes 1150, but I've added on three mil extra because these are actually, these five by twos are 47 mil wide, not 50 mil wide. So I've gone for 1153 for the length of that four by two cross beam. So I'm gonna cut two more, mount them, and then come back and talk some more. Right, I've done three of the 2x4 cross beams. Uh, the centre one is screwed in place. These outer two are loose at the moment. I've got to decide on a gap between them. And I've kind of opted for 400 centres um, because the insulation, where's the insulation? It's in here, this roll of fibreglass insulation is pre-cut into uh, 400s and 200s I believe and that actually worked out pretty well for fitting between the larger gaps and then that smaller gap there so I think I'm going to put them on 400 centers screw them down now these plates get removed once the mini joist hangers are on because they'll get in the way of the floorboards which sit on top so I'll now get some mini joist hangers 
Uh, I need six, three at that end and three at this end. And I'll come back when they're done. And uh, now that this bracket has all four screws in, well, all eight, four on each side, I've just loosened the plate to see whether there's any rocking to make sure that I've got that those top edges absolutely flush and that one looks all right so I'm just going to do all the others and uh, there it is my finished floor frame it's taken a while because there are a lot of screws um, these screws here four screws in there because this is basically supporting the floor now you can probably see why I've put a, a four inch on a five inch because that bracket which supports the four inch underneath sits roughly central on the five inch now so that works rather well I feel right now I'm going to attempt to put that frame back in position on my own which is always a bit of a challenge let's give it a try I'll run the time lapse And uh, that's it, the floor unit is done, bar the floorboards of course, and I've put the panels back onto the side of the shed, so it's all intact. Uh, that's all I'm going to do for today. Goodbye.